Hi, welcome to Manual Therapy Online. I am Jules Stupini, French osteopath and co-founder of Manual Therapy Online. Welcome to our first research studies review. Today we are going to study the relationship between weather and joint pain. The first study is in 1997 in Journal of Rheumatology. It was about the association between external weather conditions and pain and stiffness in women with rheumatoid arthritis by Jane and colleagues. They conclude that the weather makes only a minimal contribution to pain and stiffness in women with rheumatoid arthritis. In the second studies in 2009 in arthritis rheumatology, called Does the Weather Really Matter? A called study of influences of weather and solar conditions on daily variation of joint pain in patients with rheumatoid arthritis by Smetsland and colleague. In this study, it seems that weather condition seems to influence, but it's very highly individual. By the way, the samples are very small in this study. In the third study, in 2011, in Rheumatology International, which is the dominant factor for perception of rheumatic pain, meteorology or psychology, by Kay and colleagues. In this study, it seems that the belief about presence of weather arthritis association was found to be stronger than its statistical power. In, in fact, it seems that if you grew up in an environment in a social culture that told you if you have pain it's because the weather condition you are more likely to feel this kind of pain when you are older the fourth study in arthritis care and research in 2014 by stephens and colleagues the effect of weather on back pain results from a case crossover study that found that Temperature, relative humidity, air pressure and precipitation do not increase the risk of a low back pain episode. The same in 2016 in Rheumatology International by Duong and colleague does weather affect daily pain intensity levels in patients with acute low back pain, a prospective cohort study. They found that weather parameters of precipitation, temperature, relative humidity and air pressure did not influence the intensity of pain reported by patients during an episode of acute low back pain. Again the same year in osteoarthritis cartilage, the influence of weather on the risk of pain exacerbation in patients with knee osteoarthritis, a case crossover study by Ferreira and colleagues, they found that the risk of pain exacerbation in person with knee osteoarthritis is not influenced by weather factors. And finally, in 2017, in pain medicine, a study by Belkin and colleagues, acute low back pain do not blame the weather, a case crossover study. They found that precipitation, humidity, wind speed, wind gust, wind direction and air pressure do not increase the risk of onset for low back pain. So the next time your patient is asking you, is my shoulder pain, knee pain, back pain, is caused by the weather, please tell him about these studies. If you had previous experience of joint pain and weather for your patient or about yourself, please discuss it down below and share the knowledge. If you have any additional references, please give it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you the next time on Manual Therapy Online.